uh, operators or to uh, travel agents, travel, uh, travel agents that working in incentive travel from different countries, different companies, but they are working in the same profession in travel, uh, in incentive travel. Okay, so they come to meet and they use different forms. See, here is like workshop. They have, they have also workshop and brainstorming. And this is the, the leisure part activities and uh, fam trip they are working for the tour company okay this question so they are using various kind of form for uh, the con convention see to village social media and sponsors speakers okay right so this is the overview of the convention not people working in the same company but they are working in the same profession okay the next the next uh, is the development in uh, convention industry the industry contributes to gain popularity in developed and emerging countries alike and many countries continue to see the significant benefits it brings as spending per delegate is higher than the leisure tourists as we seen from the definition a convention or conference to the the number the number of attendees or participants should be over or more than 50 people right so when you organize a convention or conferences there would be a lot of people coming for this event and these people are people who are business men right and they can spend more than the leisure tourists as we mentioned earlier in the first week that it would be three up to six times than the leisure tourists the convention also can be used as a tool to publicize the country in the eyes of foreigners hoping for potential returns as well as new entrants in the future. So if we are the destination, the country is the destination when people come to, to uh, organize or to host the convention in the country is it is like you can promote your country for the potential uh, of the investment to do the business and the opportunities for new business as well and also to develop the convention industry is is that the uh, industry could get um, could get um, more uh, more how to say more attention or uh, more interest because why we need the development this this industry. for uh, uh, more people to come 
so that country will uh, would get more income. And um, this has proven to be a turning point, sending the high spending industry into more cost effective one. And today, fewer conventions are being held, characterized by smaller, more precise session aimed at more highly uh, selective delegate needs. Delegates are now looking for conventions responding to their field and networking opportunities. Uh, so the conventions and conference, they should have a focus on the issue that they want to get the people to come and discuss and to make networking. For an example, site global convention, that is the time for the travel agents or tour operators to come and make networking. And convention results must be measurable as quantifying return on investment has now become necessary for any association hosting conventions. So for this one, we are discussing about the returns of profits for the association when it's hosting convention. How could they get the money as received uh, as the profit? Uh, when this is something that's different from corporate meeting. For corporate meeting, the meeting was by the company, so the company paid everything. But association, association paid for the budget to host the meeting. But association need income to to sustain the organization. So the income would come from the membership fee. When they host a conference, they collect the money from the participant. So if you want to join the conference or the convention, you have to pay for the registration fee. Okay. For the train, convention trains. attend the conference or the convention you the, the participants they expect that they would have new knowledge or the expansion of their knowledge because because conference and convention focus on knowledge technology right and innovation so these these are the benefits for people who attend the conference or the convention and also when they come to the conference or the convention they are people who are working in the same area in the same profession but different part of the world so when they come to meet they can make networking right and it's also the opportunity education for fundraising and raising awareness for example for um, uh, people who are teach teachers nowadays nowadays we are focused more So they should uh, the the uh, teachers associations. There are many teachers associations, and uh, one of them might uh, host a conference or a convention to raise the awareness of the new technology used for online classes. So this is an example of raising awareness. And destination. 
Spanish reputation definitely when the country host uh, any conference, any conferences that show or uh, giving illustrating the country image, the image of the country, and people will recommend, will uh, word of mouth tell tell about the country about the things, the good things, the experience in this country to their friends and other people. And for importance of sustainable conventions, it is very important because as we mentioned in meeting industry with people, a lot of people come together they use a lot of, or they consume a lot of energy and food, and they produce a lot of waste. So, to help the convention sustain is the same as the meeting. We have to uh, think about the environment, the human lives, the animals, and the local people, the lifestyle, the culture. Smile. 
are full, right? So they put everything that is uh, that they think that is important for their daily life in their smartphone. So uh, my business as well, we think that is because now so they could use uh, mobile phone, the smartphone a lot, and they do almost everything on the mobile phone. So. Uh, the, the industry developed the application applicable for mobile and tablets to be convenient and very easy friendly to the user. And also the applications for cost, the cost for the applications is lower than you hire people to come and uh, get the email and uh, put the data in the computer and print uh, the, the name list out so comparing to the application <coughs> is lower than you use the human cost and the social media has become an incredible cost-effective tools in uh, spreading advertising or product us. We ha- cannot deny that uh, Facebook has a lot of uh, influence on our daily life, Instagram also, right? These are the social media or social network for people to connect to each other. So, is the easy way and the fast way when uh, you post something on um, your Facebook or Instagram for other people to get or to reach this information. Another one is LinkedIn. LinkedIn is another platform which is very important for professional, uh, for business people, for researchers, for uh, academic people. Because LinkedIn um, provide or generate information for uh, professions in uh, various uh, areas. Now, virtual conference. We are very. Uh, we are getting used to the virtual conference and. very often because we cannot have face-to-face meeting or face-to-face conference <coughs> so uh, I will show you the example of the increasing of uh, technology for virtual conference and then we will come back to meetings. Okay, now I'll show you an example of the virtual conference of virtual meeting. With our virtual events video, we can turn your live events into a virtual experience for the interactive live audience. Our immersive solution is a combination of a physical and virtual Now you 
using this new technology. So why a uh, virtual conference is um, exciting for the industry because it can create a new environment for or giving new experience for the audience. And because it is not face to face, that's why uh, we have to think of something that is it's very challenging that we have to think of something to get attention from the participants. The same thing as our online class, it's very difficult to ask you to uh, turn on your camera, to switch on your camera and to attract or to draw your attention because we are far away, right? Each of us staying at home, right? That's why virtual conference, the same thing, the delegates, the participants, they are everywhere, right? They are not in the same room as before for the uh, convention or the conference. So they have to get something to draw the attention. So the host will be um, hosting on the blue, they call blue screen or green screen. Maybe if I can see. Actually, uh, the the background is the green color. Yes, there's the frame here, right? Actually, it's the green. That's why we call it green screen or blue screen to so that we can show the pictures or the graphic on the background to make it more exciting like this right uh, we make the projector and, uh, to to show the graphics or the, the pictures on the screen to make it more exciting for the participants and also you see the these speakers can see the participants on the screen like this
the screen like this and staying at home, joining the conference from home. Okay, that is hybrid. Right. process. How do we set up the convention or the conference? <clears throat> because it holds, the host is organization, okay, not the company. So the association will ask for bidding. What is the bidding process? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
based on convention and also the budget. Right? So these are the key things that the PCO should know before they uh, go to the bidding process because they have to plan okay, and set the budget to meet the requirement or the needs of the association. So this is called the bidding process.
first thing they should know who would be the target audience, and then they have to go to the right target because the open the the audience or the participants will make uh, you have the right menu and the right content. Okay, if you have if you know the right target or the audience. Thank <laughs> you. 